A fantastic algebra question. A and B are positive integers. A plus B plus AB is 19. What is the value of A plus B? How wonderful the question is. How shall we solve it? Firstly, inspection or observation. A plus B plus AB equals 19 is given. This equation looks so nice. Usually, our first idea is to factorize the left hand side. However, we don't know if it works. So let's have a try. Thank Abdel Mulam Shagri for joining my channel. So, I'm going to write here a plus b plus ab, it is 19. And then, we want to factorize the left hand side. Look. Here is A, here is A as well. So from these two sections, we can take out an A. Then it'll become, here is A times one plus B. In the bracket, it is one plus B. However, here is a B left. The right hand side, 19. Oh no, it doesn't work. However, I'm going to say it does work. Why? Please have a look at your B, your cute B. Oh, I love it. If you want to factorize it further, we have only one choice. It would be perfect if you could take out a 1 plus B here on the left hand side. So, here is only B. We lack a 1. What can we do? If we lack a 1, we will create it. We can add 1 on the both end sides. The left hand side will be a times 1 plus b and then plus b plus 1. The right hand side, 19 plus 1. We've created a 1. So here, we have b plus 1, 1 plus b. They're actually the same thing, aren't they? So if you take out 1 plus b, here is a, here is 1. And the right hand side is 19 plus 1 is 20. We've done. Although the right hand side is not 19 anymore, the left hand side has been successfully factorized. The left hand side, to tell the truth, it is so ugly. I don't like it. I don't know if you like it. Maybe you like it. So now the left hand side can be written as 1 plus a, then times 1 plus b. The right hand side is still 20. Now, our problem is, this 20, how can we deal with it? 20, it can be written as 2 times 2 times 5. So, how many possibilities are there? It can be written as 1 times 20, also 2 times 10, 4 times 5, 20 plus, 20 times 1, sorry, 10 times 2, and 5 times 4. Here, I'm going to call them first group, here the second, here the third. For our first group, since A and B are positive integers, so 1 plus A should be greater than or equal to 2, and 1 plus b should also be greater than or equal to 2. However, in our first case, here is 1, here is 1. So, it cannot exist, it doesn't work, it doesn't make sense. Our first group doesn't work. Oh yeah, then our second group. 
If we know the value of 1 plus a and 1 plus b, we can then solve the value of a plus b easily. Look, for a second group, 1 plus a plus 1 plus b. It is equal to 2 plus 10. Of course, 2 plus 10 is equal to 10 plus 2. They're actually the same thing. They have the same result. In our second group, or in our second case, I'm going to say, the sum of 1 plus a and 1 plus b is 12. So the sum of a plus b can be easily solved. So here, 2 plus a plus b, it is 12. Then the value of a plus b is 12 minus 2 is 10. For a third case as well, it is 1 plus a plus 1 plus b, it is 4 plus 5. 2 plus a plus b is 9, so a plus b is 9 minus 2, which is equal to 7. So a plus b is 7 in this case. The value of a plus b is 10 or 7. Did you get it? Give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to me. We'll see you next time.